you can always almost tell when spring football season comes in because the kids start coming in. And the reason why they're coming in because they usually do too many squats, squats or lunges or deadlifts. Uh, so the kids know that. Most of the parents may not have an idea of what they're doing in weight training, but just in that repetitive motion or too much weights, you know, maxing out the weights in the weight room, really triggers those facet joints. Okay. The cheerleaders have the same problem as they hyperextend their back. It engages those facet joints, and they also have back pain as well. A lot of the volleyball kids get it a lot too. I've treated a lot of volleyball kids and a lot of gymnasts. And sometimes they can even break their back, have a little parse fracture where this little bone here didn't heal to, to that one. It's very, very common in gymnasts and also cheerleaders and also volleyball players. But the linemen football players, they're the ones that usually get it the most because they're maxing on too much weight and really triggers those, uh, those facet joints. Uh, it's usually the base and the cheerleaders. Um, they're the ones that usually get it more than the flyers. I uh, can always, there's a few schools right here in Plano that you can tell, or you can just tell where they, they came from, what school, because they, they're always a lot of work on the base. So usually the base uh, girls have the most of the problems because that's where all the load goes. When they're catching the other kids, it goes, but you know, it goes right down to the facet joint. So the base and the cheerleaders, uh, they're more prone to come here than the flyers are. You know, you can't get better in a day, so it takes, you know, it takes time, and sometimes you have to modify your activity. You have to take a few days off and uh, really try to hop, not hop extend your back. And always tell, encourage patients to uh, you know, get your quads strong as you can, your hamstrings strong. Uh, that will help alleviate some of the pressure that goes to those facet joints and to your lower back.